everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Developing Devotion. I'm your host, Taya Peron. Thank you so much for joining me tonight, wherever you are tuning in from. I'm so grateful to have you here and just know that if this message is coming to you, whatever time you are in your life, it's because you've energetically asked for it. You've called out for it. Your soul has asked for it and I have picked it up through the ether somehow and am sharing the guidance that's ready to come through for you this evening. So wherever you are, if you'd like to join me in a prayer, I am really loving starting off sessions this way. It's just a way to really connect, ground yourself, tap into your ish, uh, intuition, and really just, just trust how your life is being guided. So wherever you are, just taking a nice, big, deep breath in, and just letting go of any stresses that you've been carrying throughout your day, just releasing them now as we surrender totally and completely to the universe, to God, to our angels, trusting completely that we are always guided. Every decision that we make, even when we think those decisions might be a step back or a wrong direction, knowing that these are always detours to the right direction, that our whole life is guided. And as we surrender to our intuition, as we surrender to God, to the signs and synchronicities that are always guiding us, tuning into our bodies, the deep wisdom of our bodies, knowing that we're always on the right path. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you, God, for bringing us together in this moment. Amen. <clears throat> feels so good to pray, doesn't it? It just feels so, so good. So tonight's episode is completely intuitively guided. And a couple hours ago, I was guided to totally change up the, the theme of this show tonight. And again, that's me trusting my own intuition, trusting that the guidance I'm receiving and the messages that I am meant to be sharing through this this channel um, are a response to the calls that you're sending out. So really giving myself permission, hopefully I can be an example and an inspiration to you to change your mind when need be. You know, the world and our lives are always in flux, always changing, always in the flow. And so we have to let ourselves really surrender to that flow and not be too rigid with ourselves, especially the feminine. You know, life isn't in black and white. There's many shades of gray and all the colors in between. And we really have to allow ourselves to shift course when need be. And sometimes that's not going to make sense to other people. Um, but really tuning into the wisdom of our bodies. This is something I've been doing so much lately. And I love sharing with my friends and my clients, really giving these clear techniques to trust the intuition of our bodies, trust the, the subtle shifts and the energy that we experience within our body. If we're trying to make a decision and something feels contracted and tight, you know, that's probably not the best way to go. We really want to feel expansive and joyful and loving um, with the decisions and choices that we're making in love and in life. So tonight's show is all about activating love. So I'm going to do a bit of a guided meditation with you, which I'm so, so excited about. I have received such amazing results in my own life over these last couple months from doing these sessions, from doing all of these love activation rituals. They're so much fun. They're so empowering. And if you're in the time in your life where you're really ready to be bringing in a, a new lover, bringing in the love of your life, really opening your heart and surrendering and taking off that mask is the only way that you're going to be able to do that. And I see so many women struggling to to find the one. You know, they're dating all these different people and they're not really surrendering. They're not willing to uncover their true heart, to reveal their true heart. And so that's keeping this, the one, um, at a distance energetically, because men in the masculine are very 
intuitive and receptive. And so it's this very energetic process that we are um, being called into. And if if you are a woman in your feminine or wanting to be in your feminine, watching this right now, listening to this right now, wherever you are, knowing that this deep desire for love that you have, this really deep craving soul connected craving that you have it is coming from that place because you're ready for it because you want it and you know you might be in a relationship right now where you feel like you're not getting that and so this craving is getting getting bigger and bigger and bigger and you're really desiring this deep soul connection and I know that you know, months ago, that's where I was in a previous relationship. And the more that I set my intention and knew that I wanted to really open my heart, I really didn't know what that meant at the time. Um, but as I did set that intention and really trusted, even if I didn't really know exactly what I was doing, really trusting in this process of knowing I wanted to open my heart, that that would guide me to where I needed to go. And that is exactly what has happened. And it's been really, really scary. Love is not easy. Um, it's really, really scary to reveal yourself and surrender yourself to, to another. Um, and so if you are a woman that is looking for love, looking for the one, looking to call in this lover, you have to be willing to do the work first. You have to be willing to open up your heart. And that's really going to be the invitation to this man that you're calling in. But so often we're way too scared to do that. We think that he should be the one to do it first or make that first move or whatever the case may be. But I am starting to believe that it really is the feminine's job to open up her heart first as that invitation. Um, and again, it's really scary, but we're strong women and, and we can do it. And that is really going to be the magnetism that this strong man that we desire is going to gravitate toward anyway. So it's really this beautiful, subtle energy that we get to play with. That's so much fun, um, you know, but it does take a lot of commitment and soul work as well. So with that being said, I pulled a card for us tonight um, just because I really love, love starting off sessions that way. So the card that came up for the collective tonight, whoever's tapping into to this video, to this show tonight is trust in your own understanding. And I absolutely love this deck. Um, and basically it is a woman that is flying over this beautiful island, all of this water. She's taking off her mask. She's in this beautiful gown with, with feathers and wings. And to me, when I see this card, it's really a message that it's time to take off our own mask. It's time to stop thinking about all of the things that we think we should do and really just trust in our own understanding, trust in those subtle cues of our body and really seeing um, life and our greater vision from this bird's eye view, from this higher perspective, from this higher plane. Oftentimes we are you know, right down eye level with, with what we're doing in life. And so it's not until we can really see our vision and tap into our greater vision for our life from up above that we can then start trusting in our heart's guidance from this way wider perspective. And that's going to make decision making far much easier. And I'm experiencing this in my own life right now. So it makes sense that this would come up for myself as well as you. Um, and the number 32, which this card is, really is bringing attention to bringing together creativity, balance, intuition, and connectedness. So really bringing in all of those components, creativity, self-expression, relationships, um, and fueling all of those things with this sort of creative self-expression, bringing that together, and really taking off the mask, revealing your true self, your true authentic self and really trusting where you're being guided. Um, so I want to give that invitation to you wherever you're coming from tonight, whatever is going on in your life right now, trust those subtle cues of your body. If something doesn't feel quite right, let yourself really tap into that. Journal on it, feel into it, meditate on it. Even if it's something that felt really good in the past and like maybe you were guided to something, 
let yourself shift and reevaluate. Remember, we talked about this a couple shows ago. Be willing to reevaluate your intentions. And now that we're going into a week of a new uh, new moon, it's a really exciting time to be setting your intentions for what you want to experience, what you want to cultivate, and what you want to call in over these next 28 days. And so if that is a lover, if that is any kind of experience that you're wanting to call in, whether more money, travel, more love, more experiences, whatever it is, be willing to set these intentions and follow through with them while also giving yourself total permission to reevaluate things as they come, knowing that as you open up your heart, as you really, really keep your heart space open, you are going to magnetize all of these amazing opportunities to you. And the more that that happens, the more that you're following your heart and the more you're following love, the less magnetized you you might be to decisions or commitments that you've made in the past when you weren't so totally open hearted. So it's very interesting and it's it's something that I want you to, to think of and it's something that I'm thinking of a lot lately and actually trying not to think of but trying to more feel, right? Getting out of our heads and into our hearts. This is where that masculine and feminine energy can become very out of balance in, in women is being so up in our head when really we need to get into our body, into our heart space. That's really going to magnetize what it is that we want. So I want to invite you tonight to meditate with me for a beautiful love activation uh, meditation. It's going to be really, really beautiful. You can do this anytime. This is a beautiful example of what I run my clients and students through, especially in these love activation sessions that I'm doing, which I'm just seeing these incredible results with. And it's so amazing to see and experience women just letting go and shedding these blocks that they've been carrying around their whole life and getting really clear on what it is that they want to magnetize and getting really confident in their own power, their own value, so that they can truly magnetize this man of integrity into their lives that they've always been dreaming of, that they've always been wanting. And that's what I help women with today. And it's just such a blessing. It's so much fun. And really, it's what more important work is there to do for us women at this this time in our lives, right? Really keeping our hearts open. And as we do that to experience more love, we're going to be shining our light and giving more love to the whole world. Uh, it's going to make following our purpose so much easier as we surrender to the guidance of our hearts. So I invite you to meditate with me now. So if you haven't already, I would love you to get a nice comfy space. You can see I am in my nice sacred space. Light a candle, light some incense, whatever you feel called to do. Wherever you are is absolutely perfect. And I'm going to invite you to just gently close your eyes and you can lay down or sit up, whatever you feel called to do. And this is going to be a beautiful love activation meditation. So I want you to put your hands, palms facing down on your knees or by your side, wherever you are. Just taking a nice deep breath. Keeping your shoulders back, your spine straight, nice and tall, opening up that heart. And I want you to imagine from your root chakra, the base of your body, where your body meets the floor, I want you to imagine this strong white column is coming from you and it's going through the floor below you going through the building all the way to the ground, all the way to the earth, this white column, seeing it penetrate through the ground, through the earth, traveling through the dirt, the roots of the trees that are in the earth. Imagining this white column travel 
all the way down into the center of the earth. And just breathing, letting yourself rest in the natural rhythm of your breath. This strong white column going all the way to the center of the earth where it meets this huge, beautiful rose quartz crystal. This powerful center of pure divine love. And I want you to imagine that this white column is absorbing all of that sacred crystal energy, bringing up that beautiful feminine pink color all the way back up through that column, back up through the earth, back up through the roots of the trees, back up through the building that you're in, where it finally meets the base of your body, your root chakra. And I want you to imagine just gently letting in that beautiful rose quartz energy into your body. Just gently bringing it into your hips, this beautiful pink color, bringing it down into your thighs, into your knees and into your calves, into your feet. This beautiful sacred pink color traveling all throughout that lower half of your body. Really bringing in that loving frequency into your being. And then bringing that up through your torso, through your belly, through your hips, up your stomach, and really visualize that beautiful sacred pink energy traveling throughout your body. And if it helps, feeling free to bring your hands over your thighs and your hips and bringing that energy really into your body. And just trusting your own body's guidance. And allowing that pink energy to travel up through your chest, opening up your shoulders, opening up your beautiful heart. Breathing that in. Bringing that pink energy over your shoulders, down each one of your arms into your wrists, into your palms, and each one of your fingers. Feeling that feminine frequency travel throughout all the space inside your body. Bringing it all the way back up to your shoulders, into your neck, around your throat chakra, opening up that throat, seeing it come up through your jaw, over your cheeks and nose, over your eyes. Feeling a smile come across your face as you feel this beautiful feminine frequency travel throughout your whole being now. This pink color traveling over your forehead, over the top of your head, and all the way around the top of your skull so that your whole being is radiating this beautiful, feminine frequency and I want you to imagine that same white column that's still connected to the center of the earth that it's still connected all the way up to your root chakra and it's going all the way up your spine all the way up your spine to your crown chakra and then all the way up into the room above you through the ceiling up into the sky and all the way up into the heavens, this beautiful strong white column that's radiating with this feminine frequency. And that white column that travels all the way up into the heavens, to the ethers, open to any and all divine guidance that you're ready to receive. And from here, you can turn your hands, palms facing up, which really puts you in a physical position ready to receive. And breathing into that, really breathing. Deep belly breaths, breathing into your belly, not your chest, breathing into your belly. With your shoulders back and heart nice and open. 
And from here, I want you to bring attention to your chest, to your heart space, as that beautiful pink energy is still swimming all throughout your body. This beautiful feminine frequency radiating from within you, connected to heaven and earth at the same time, smiling. I want you to imagine right now, as you radiate this frequency, I want you to imagine that your heart, that place within you where your deepest love exists, where your deepest love craves to be seen and experienced and felt, bringing your attention there. Breathing into that and feeling this space as a magnet. That this feeling, this energetic space, this love, this deepest part of your being that makes you you is a magnet for all the love that you could ever desire. And I want you to imagine activating now, turning this magnet on, activating it, opening up, turning this magnet on so that this love of yours can be felt from anywhere in the entire world right now in this moment. Keeping your shoulders back and your chest open. Breathing this in. Really trusting that you are ready to receive the love that you fully desire. And that in order to do so, keeping this space open, keeping your heart open. And seeing and feeling this place of love that lives within you, this deepest part of you. I want you to feel it being activated. See it growing brighter and brighter and brighter. This light that is beaming from your chest and can be felt everywhere. And imagine that this activation, this light, this warmth is bringing in and magnetizing to you right this very moment the love of your life, the love that you really desire, this masculine force, this wonderful man, this wonderful lover that you are desiring, that you're ready for, is being magnetized right now to your heart. And as you keep this space open, keeping that magnet, magnet clear and obstructed and open and ready, surrendered fully, that this beautiful, wonderful person is on their way to you right now. And just breathing that, knowing in, smiling, feeling so happy that the work is already done, that you have activated your heart, you have activated your love. And so from here, I will invite you to just very gently bring down that column of energy from the ethers back into the sky, just gently bringing it back down, back into your body now. And just gently feeling your aura come back closer and closer and closer to your body until it's just about an inch or two outside your body. 
still feeling nice and connected to the center of the earth and that beautiful rose quartz crystal, still feeling magnetized and open in your chest and in your heart, feeling that light beaming out from you. From here, you can just very gently turn your palms facing down now on your knees, just bringing you to that feeling of being grounded, of being connected, of being back into the earth. And when you feel ready, just bringing some movement back into your physical body, back into the room that you're in with some hip circles, rolling your shoulders, really just trusting your body, trusting your intuition, trusting how your body desires to move in this moment, knowing that as you've activated all of this loving energy, it's desiring now to circulate and move through your limbs. So really trusting your body. And when you finally feel ready, opening up your eyes back into the space that you are in. That was so beautiful. And I'm so honored for you to be a part of this love activation session. If you are ready for some one-on-one -on -one love mentoring, I would love to hear from you. Facebook Messenger is where I hang out. And I would love to hear from you. I would love to support you on this journey of magnetizing the person of your dreams, of this wonderful masculine energy that you're ready for as you fully surrender to your feminine frequency, open up your heart. Again, it can be scary, um, but it's so, so worth it. And I would love to support you on this journey. You can practice this meditation at any time, come back to this replay and do it over and over again, really feeling that magnetism, really trusting that this person is on their way to you. And really you just need to hold the pose Hold your heart open 